Hey folks, we are all made of star stuff. You must have heard this several times, but it doesn't really struck us unless you see the picture that I'm going to show you. The second thing you must have heard is we are part of a solar system. It means we have a sun and we have planets. Our sun is one star of all the millions of stars in our galaxy alone. There are places where these stars are born. So there is a nebulous cloud, is a star nursery where you can actually see stars are being born. So if you go to the Grand Canyon for the very first time, you take a picture of the Grand Canyon because you just saw it and you wanted to keep the memory permanent and you go ahead and take a picture, make sure that the memory is recorded forever, that you just saw that. Likewise, when I, for the very first time, saw this area, the name of this place is called Trifed, Trifed Nebula. I took a picture, it's a wide field of view, and I said like, yeah, this is amazing. That was actually one of my first few pictures that I took. Since then, I was thinking, is there a way to see this cocoon, to see this star nursery or stellar nursery, like really close? So I'm using the longer focal length telescope. I tried several times. It was pretty difficult actually to go too close and then take a picture. So I failed multiple times. Either I'm getting like, you know, elongated stars or the scope kept shaking because you are like, you know, too close that, you know, to the object that you are trying to take a picture. I am going to try this tonight again one more time, see if this is going to work. I'll show you guys the Trifed Nebula close-up picture. I was really surprised by the image quality and the signal strength. The guiding was below one RMS error most of the time. The focus is actually fantastic. Even though the HFR shows here 4.09, I think some of my settings were wrong. The full width half maximum, it was like between one and two. I do have to do high dither because I was worried about the banding effect. I'm really amazed by how far we can zoom in. I was impressed when I saw the Hubble picture before. Like behind me, you can actually see the wide field area of the same object that I took last year. So this is actually the stellar nursery that Hubble was showing where they are locating the star birth region. It's so amazing that we can take this target from our backyard. <laughs>